We've got Chaser team coverage of New Jersey's seemingly out of control drug problem. We've got Meg Baker uh, with New Jersey's top cop. What do you got? That's right. I spent the morning out chasing with Tom's River Township police officer Westfall, New Jersey's top cop who made a record number of DWI arrests in 2013, 105 to be exact. Ocean County is dealing with a huge drug epidemic, record numbers of heroin overdoses and prescription pill abuse that all contribute to this DWI tally. Now, we responded with Officer Westfall to two crashes. It was a busy day, to say the least. The second being a one-vehicle crash where the woman was suspected of being under the influence. She hit a utility pole and admitted to being high on Percocet. We have some other issues we have to deal with, Renee. Okay. And you've dealt with me a couple of times, right? And I've been pretty fair with you. Yeah. But you can't drive high on Percocets. I got you. You understand that? Two mini bottles of vodka were also found in her vehicle. One was empty, so she was going to be arrested on the spot and then brought to the hospital. Okay, so you want an ambulance to come take you to the hospital now, right? Yes, please. Okay, very good. Just hang out. Don't go anywhere. So Officer Westfall used to work the night shift, which is about 1.30 p.m. to 11 o'clock at night, and I asked him if he's seeing any difference in the number of DWI arrests as he switched to the day shift and he said, actually, no, surprisingly, so far this year, he's made about 25 arrests. He said it doesn't matter the time of day. It doesn't matter the season. Meg, I'm fascinated by that stat. I mean, it almost, it, it leads down the path of discussion to say that maybe the folks going out and having a couple drinks at dinner in the bars are not exactly the entire problem. Maybe a big part of this problem are people that are addicted to prescription drugs. They're, you know, they're using heroin, et cetera. Meg, tell me about the, tell me about the officer you were with. Officer Westfall, I mean, he is New Jersey's top cop. He is so focused out there on the road. He made the mistake of saying this morning that it seemed like a slow day. And then suddenly we're inundated with three different calls to different crashes. And Ronica, you were with the governor today. I was in Trenton with the governor at the rescue mission there where he announced the expansion of the Narcan program. We took further action to reduce the number of heroin deaths in our communities by implementing the Narcan pilot program. Now, Narcan is used when someone is suffering from a heroin overdose. It can actually save their lives. And in Ocean County alone, it saved 41 lives since the launch in just April. Now, Governor Christie is going to expand the use of Narcan across the state. And the people who are using it are our first responders and law enforcement officers. When I spoke with a representative from the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office, they actually showed me that you can get it with just a prescription from your doctor. They have a training video online because they feel that it has saved so many lives. Last year to date, 61 people died of a heroin overdose. And this year to date in Ocean County, as of today, only 29 people have died. They, they attribute that fully to the use of Narcan. To clarify, so the heroin addict who may overdose and almost kill themselves will then potentially have the responsibility to say, just in case I do that, let me get a prescription for Narcan from my doctor? Well, it's for the families to use. They okay. can get it for less than $50. And actually, a recovering addict spoke at the event today, and he said this really is just the first step. We need to focus on getting the people the help that they need to keep moving forward, to become a productive member of society. So this is the first step in a series of many to help people overcome their addiction to heroin. I'm happy that Narcan is there for a tool for families, but my question or my concern is if families are so aware of a family member potentially ODing that they feel the need to have Narcan, it seems like there should have been a lot of other steps that they've already taken prior to that. We hear a lot about breaking the cycle of addiction. Uh, I'm not sure when that became government's responsibility, but you know, I know if you've got somebody driving around who's high on drugs, uh, they're not just a threat to themselves, they're a threat to other people.